Kevin Harlan. We've got Steve Smith and Greg Anthony alongside. And our side. Now the starting group for the visitors. Steve, as we know, this should be a battle of the backcourts. And you know something about that. Who did you, when you played, love to face and play against? Well, two of the guys that come to mind right offhand as far as backcourt players was Michael Jordan and Penny Hardaway. Love facing those guys. And then at the Here end of my career, I love watching Allen Iverson, not gardening. Down low, it's stolen. From the stripe, it's tipped. Let's it go from deep. One up, one down. Two points with his first shot this game. That's just great court recognition there. He saw the D pack in the lane on the break, so he calmly rolls up and drained the transition three. Score the basket. Nice shot after missing his first attempt. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Wow, that's a defensive breakdown. Can't do that against good scores. And that outstanding drive and finish brought to you by Mobile One. And the awareness of his footwork and body on that drive. Wow. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. And he can't get the first one. And he can't hit the second. I can't believe he missed those shots. Wow, he is usually lights out from there. First quarter just over a minute played. And that one is hammered home. That's why you never quit battling on the offensive glass. And that's a nice reward for his effort. Uh, the flush, perfect. Working hard, beating everyone to the ball. He does this night in and night out. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Yeah, nice strong finish there. Nearly a three-point opportunity. And the first one at the line is good. So one for two that time at the strike. Gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. And there's the whistle. Three-second violation. And we have to take another glance at that powerful rejection. And right out of the gate, trying to set the tone defensively, you got to love that energy. Gone two for four from the field so far today. Throws it up high. Oh, and they get in the way of the alley-oop. Not to be. Good play defensively. Plenty of room to knock down the shot. This is why you're trying to get him as many touches as possible. He's got the deck. Got a piece of it. Takes it inside, and he jams it with authority. Excellent on both ends of that play. Yeah, the steal was sharp, but the slam topped it off. Turning defense into offense. Every coach talks about it. Perfect example right there. Unloads from 13. He's off on that one. And really, that is why he is feared as a defender. Right in your face on that shot. Moved his feet, timed it perfectly. That's how you get stops. Love it. Offline with his three. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. And he makes the first. And so he makes both from the line. And that's another area where he is just a superb player. Excellent at the free throw line. About three minutes gone here in the first quarter. It's tipped. Go. 
there's the killer two-handed slam. And the second chance becomes a dunk. We could feel over here. GA such a good, aggressive play in the paint. Launches a three. It's good for his second make. He's made two or three so far. Good way to start this game. You want to get him rolling as early as possible. And we know once he gets in the rhythm, he's a really tough guy to stop. The high post shot goes back up, and he sinks the layup. He's got five. We've seen the lead change hands quite a bit in this one. And, guys, I think each team knows they can win this game. Just a matter who can catch that momentum. gotten four of six field goal attempts to drop in the first quarter. I see him. Asked a big smooth. Six to shoot. Out to the wing. No good with the triple. He blocked it and deflects off the backboard. One twenty-nine left in the first quarter. To the wing on the left, and the shot is long. To the paint. It's not going to fall. He's taken four shots and made two. A shot off that time. Gone two of five from three point land here in the first quarter. A quick shot there and it's off target. 33% here in the first quarter. There's 42 seconds left to play here in the first. And it's going to be out of bounds. And they'll keep possession. There's 37 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Second shot opportunity, and that's two points on the layup. Salvage the possession. He's a terrific offensive rebounder. Looking at around 44% in the early goings here. From the arc. And they get it back. It's good on the putback. Just in a perfect position to grab that rebound and then get the putback. The 18-footer is right on the mark. You can just see the passion and love with which he plays the game. You see how he prepares, the work ethic, the way he interacts with his teammates, and when he hits the floor. Some good action already in this one, but a fairly even matchup after the first quarter of play. And looking at what we've seen so far, guys, from the visiting team, what do you think? Just cashing in on second-chance opportunities. That's how they built this early lead. You can do everything else right, but if you fail to take care of the defensive glass, you're killing your chances. 40% from the field. 
And this league has plenty of guys who can take over a game at any time. But, Steve, how fun is it to have a team with multiple threats and on any given night? Well, it's really, Kevin, unfair because you have two guys that can get it going. And for the defense and the other team, that is hard to contend with. Let's it go with a three. It's good from long range. He's got eight. Not just a knockdown shooter. He does a great job of finding space for his shot. Poke loose. And that goes out of bounds. And they'll keep possession. And the home team has possession. Releases. Fires the jumper from the corner and nails it. Good job of stepping up to the plate there. Seizing back the momentum for his team. That's the competitor in him. Close game. Let me have this one. Shot clock at five. Here we go, all alone. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. That free throw missing. Elbow. Two. And he's good on the second. We're about a minute and a half into the second quarter now. Here's the three. It's good. It's his second basket. He's shooting two for four. This is the shot you want to get him. An open look from range. Quarter number two. We're about two minutes in. That shot misses. a mediocre 41% in this one. No good off the back of the rim. Gone two or three from the field here to open the second quarter. Shoots. His shot is good. Scores his third basket in six tries. Shooting 50%. You know, I didn't find a very good shot on that possession, but still able to get two points. Knocked loose. From deep three-point range, he shoots again. Not that time. It's off. He's three for seven. Gone one of three to start out the second quarter. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. And you know what? You allow a guy to get right to the rim like that. That's your only option. He hits both from the strike. And so here's the home team. Now about three minutes gone in this second quarter of basketball. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. All oh, the officials are all over that one. First free throw is good. He doesn't get the second one. Six on the shot clock. Got a hand on it. Picked away to the inside, 
And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. Yeah, the defender all over. Ties it up. And this next one could give them the lead. And that one falls, and that puts them up by one point. Here in the second quarter, just under three and a half minutes played. To the middle. Nice pass. Nice catch and a resounding dunk. Guys, what a wild first half this has been. <laughs> a while back and forth start, that's for sure. Trying to find some answers offensively. Yeah, these guys need to work together as a team, as a unit. Try and carve out some easy buckets. Closing in on four minutes played here in the second quarter. And it ends up out of bounds. And they retain possession. Five on the clock. And he hits it just before the shot clock expires. It has been nip and tuck through the first half. Exactly, guys. The way it's seesawed back and forth, unbelievable. That was the 2K drop. Is that move deserved another look? And that's what a coach loves to see in a close game. Just put your head down and make something happen. Inside. Off with the layup. And the pressure he put on that shot forced the miscue. The rim protection at its finest. The result is the same whether you block the shot or simply change it. 129 left from the first half of basketball. Shot on the wing. He gets it in there. He has six. Great job executing the offense. That pass on time and on point. Down low. Oh, and that one, no question, powered it down. That's how you set the table and everybody gets to eat. Shoots off the step back. A put back. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. That is really good work there on the offensive glass. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. No clue how he got that one to fall. Gotten a little under 50% of their second quarter shots to find the mark. Four of nine all total. And it's blocked. And that's going to be out of bounds. They'll keep possession. Twenty-four seconds left here in the second. Clock is at three. Off target from outside. And you could tell he thought he had a little more space, but the defender was right there. The ability to close out on perimeter shooters is so important in today's game. Two shots. Foul. Two. He misses the free throw. And he ends up missing both free throws. Hey, 
stolen away. And so it's tied as we head to halftime. We've got more in store for you right after this. Quarters, the second half could turn out to be a great one as both teams try to get it. Tipped away. And they're running for the lead. And it's blocked. And so out of bounds it goes. And they'll keep possession. And we got to take a second look to admire that outstanding block. And guys, that is lockdown defense at its finest. Going right at the shot and then able to knock it away. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. Thing has been a little ragged, just 38% from the field. Launches it. No good. Shot missing. Being with confidence. 50% from the field so far. And the layup's good off the glass. He's got 11. Terrific play call to give him a clean look at the rim. That's how you want to start the second half. Listen, put the ball in the hands of your best scorers and let them go to work. Keep it simple. the shot with nobody near him gone two of three from the field to start the second half shot clock at six Third quarter of play with just over a minute and a half gone by. He lobs up the alley -oop pass. To the paint. It's deflected. It's blocked. And that one ends up out of bounds. And they retain possession. And we're just around two minutes into the final half of play now. And he gets it to go from the high post. Looking to make plays for others. We've seen this from him all night. There has been an emphasis on ball movement, and he's been a major catalyst. to the inside and contact on the shot so he'll be shooting free throws here first one falls for him. 
That's also good. So he hits both free throws. A little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the third. A floater. Can't hit that one. And he throws it down hard with one hand. And he's an automatic finisher when he gets into that area. He is, and he picks the simple one-hand stuff to get the two points. gone three of six in the third quarter 50 percent from the field and now we're three minutes into the third quarter of play good on the three-point shot 13 points in the game defensively you have to tighten up on him or suffer the consequences always going up for the alley-oop here stolen away nice job to interrupt the alley-oop attempt there Fires the three. That one misses. Yeah, and you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. It's deflected. Third quarter of basketball here in just a little under three and a half minutes gone by. It's blocked. And the ball ends up out of bounds. And they'll keep possession. Second half here. We're just over three and a half minutes into it. Shoots it. Open jump shot off the mark. And that is the exact type of opportunity this offense is looking to create. You know, if you get the ball to the right guy in the right spot, more often than not, you're coming away with points. And it's good for two. At the end of the day, when the ball goes up, there's no substitute for effort. Gone. Two of six from the field here in the third. A three ball. That shot off. Just a enough coverage to bother that three-point attempt. Off target with his three. Gone 0 of 2 from deep to start things here in the second half. One nineteen left here in the third quarter. Can't connect from 13 feet out. Gone one of three from downtown since halftime. The three. Good for basket number six from him in the contest. He's shooting six for 12. Yeah, clearly a defensive lapse there. He is automatic from deep if you're going to leave him that wide open. Big time mistake. And coach can't like what he's seeing trying to get them refocused. It's so easy to get run over when you lose even a little edge. Look for them to come out much more aggressive. Fifty-eight seconds left in the third quarter. Five to shoot to stop the drought, and it's blocked. Thirty-two seconds left in the third quarter of the game. 
Makes it off the glass. 18 points for him. Another good play. This is how they built the lead, calling on the right guys at the right time. The reason why they stayed aggressive and they have not let up this entire night. And at this point, I wouldn't expect them to. And it's good with time running down on the shot clock. And look at how quick he was to bite on the pump fake. Left his feet way too soon. The third quarter comes to a close. Our State Farm assist of the game. And he's always been uh, the favorite to bag this honor. These kind of feeds are his bread and butter. This is what you need your floor general to do. Take charge. Lead by example. Unselfish play. And this is it. Glad to have you along for this fourth and final quarter. And the home team has possession. Knocked away. Count the basket. And, and that's a great piece of work to get to the hoop there. Just tore the D to shreds. And that was another look at the fantastic Mobile One drive that happened a moment ago. And trying to extend this lead, no better way than playing north and south, getting after it. Fires from the line, and foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. The first free throw is good. And that one goes in, two from the line that time. Greg, their unselfish play has really been impressive. They're trusting one another out there, wanting to get each other involved. This is great basketball. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. Well, 50% from the floor. Fourth quarter still young, just over a minute play. From deep. You can't hit that time. Being just 35%, they've got to get better looks. Let's it go from the wing. A second chance effort, and he lays it up and in. Yeah, the D has not been able to keep the ball out of the paint at that end of the floor. A little over a minute and a half of the fourth quarter gone now. To the middle and it is flushed down with a nice jam yeah but i mean maybe could have tried for a more memorable dunk than that one. and we know he's capable of those memorable ones puts it up from 12 that's tipped no good from outside Man, at what point do you blame the play calling more than the player? The basket counts and one. He'll go to the line with a chance to make it a three-point point. Gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. We're in the fourth quarter here, just under two and a half minutes gone. Just five on the clock. Let's go. And he swishes it right through. Well, this is what you're trying to do. Put the game away. And he's doing it by getting to his spots and making big shots. Whoops, they pick off the pass. Here we go, all alone. Fouled on the shot and picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. And loving the strategy. Even though you're well ahead, you want to stay in attack mode. You want to stay aggressive right at the rim, driving another nail into the coffin. On the free throw, no good. Fourth quarter keeps moving right along. Three minutes gone so far. And it's 
What? A three-pointer is right on target. He's got 19. Their ability, again, to stretch the floor, particularly in this second half. This was obviously a focal point coming out of the break. Look smart when the shots are going down. Trying to find some answers offensively. Yeah, these guys need to work together as a team, as a unit. Try and carve out some easy buckets. And now a moment to present the New Balance player of the game. And he's had a very good night shooting the basketball. A little over 50% from the field. And a lot of those shots have come against some tight D. That shows the level of his focus and consistency. What a connection he has to these fans. They love him here. And the more he has games like this, the deeper that connection gets. And with an update from the sidelines, let's check in with David Aldridge. Hey guys, well during the break I was able to catch the message the visiting team coach gave to his team. He was begging them to step it up. He said, we've got to make the move now. And we're going to be out of time and out of luck. Give it everything you've got out there. Kevin? Thank you, David. Hey, yo, what is that, baby? We've played just over three and a half minutes now in the fourth quarter. The 19-foot shot misses off the right iron. Gone three of seven from the floor in the fourth. That's a 42% mark in the quarter. Baseline try. Got a piece of it. There's 154 left to play here in the fourth. Great positioning on the putback. Oh, what terrific hustle. He's got a nose for the rebound. Great, he's ferocious when the ball goes up. It's deflected. And he uses the glass on the layup. They're in total command of this game with time starting to run out. Reason why they've tightened up the vice grip a little more each time up the floor. We'll see if they can close this one out. Misses the chippy right there. Gone one of three from outside the arc since we've reached the fourth quarter. 112 left to play in the final quarter. The 19 foot shot. They grab their own miss. Yeah, they can count this one in the win column. It has been a tremendous effort. I love what we saw from them tonight, and I'm sure they'll try to replicate it next time out. No good on the triple. And this is what you like about his perimeter D. Never gave up and challenged the deep one. You see some guys, they just mail it in. They don't go out and contest it. Not him. He's going to compete through the entire play. Yeah, he, there was definitely some contact there on the three-point attempt. That free throw, no good. No good on the second free throw. And he nails the third. There's 42 seconds left in the game. Poked away. And here comes the break. Step back shot. And that one hits back iron.
Off on that one. So the home crowd happy here as they get the victory. There was a tale of two teams tonight. One that was in total control operating flawlessly and the other just searching for answers that they could never find. I mean the energy here is just so tremendous. Fans involved from the get-go and once they started to really pour it on it was fun to see that rhythm.